I was supposed to be sleeping right now. But Google just decided to release their largest and most capable AI model Gemini and I think we need to talk about it. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Now Google has released a lot of videos on their YouTube channel where they have showed a bunch of different examples uh, with the new Gemini model and these look really good. However, you need to keep one thing in mind that is these examples are very curated and they try to show the best possible demonstrations of the new AI model so that general people like us can get excited about their new technology. And this is important for us because we don't want to set up unrealistic expectations and then get disappointed in the future. With that being said, Google is claiming that this would be revolutionary because this is a first truly multi-model model. What do I mean by multi-model model? So far, the way we are trying to achieve these complex AI systems is by combining multiple different state-of-the-art AI models. So imagine a robot that is working with three different AI models. One model will take audio input, another will take images as input, another model will take text as input. And with the help of all three of these models, the robot was acting as if it is a human. This was the approach until now. However, with Gemini, Gemini is a truly multi-model model, which basically means this model can take all forms of input together in itself. So it can not only read text and see images, it is also able to hear sounds and combine all three of these inputs together and then make some sense out of the situation and then give output. And therefore, Gemini is able to beat GPT-4 and all other existing state-of-the-art models on pretty much all the benchmark of math, reasoning, coding, language, video, audio, pretty much everything. At least uh, that's what Google is claiming in that blog. Anyways, one of my favorite things that Gemini is able to do other than uh, taking multi-model inputs is that it is very good at reasoning and it can do a lot of crazy stuff like competitive programming. So when evaluated on the same platform as original alpha code, alpha code was the already existing model from Google only, which was performing really good on competitive programming uh, questions. Competitive programming is basically a branch of programming where we try to solve logical questions using code. So it involves understanding of logic, mathematics, and then writing code. Uh, from that logic. So Alpha Code 2, which uses Gemini, shows massive improvements, solving nearly twice as many problems, and we estimate that it performs better than 85% of competition participants. What that basically means is this model has some understanding of reasoning and logical mathematics. And this is very important going forward in the field of AI. You might have followed me from the last few videos where I talked about why math is very crucial for achieving breakthrough in AGI and achieving artificial general intelligence. And now that Gemini is not only truly multimodal, but it also has some understanding of mathematics and reasoning that is very exciting for AI future and it really could be the next big breakthrough in AI. And now it almost feels like a race between OpenAI and DeepMind who will achieve AGI faster. It's a very exciting time to be alive right now and seeing all those breakthroughs and new AI tech coming up every single day. Now, before you get too excited, Gemini is not available for public right now. They are planning to integrate it with Bard. Remember Bard? It's very bad. However, they are planning to integrate Gemini in Bard. So you'll have some sort of same interface as ChatGPT, but this time it won't be an OpenAI model. This time it would be a Gemini Google DeepMind model. Anyways, they're planning to do it by early next year, which would be, let's say, February at best. And they are also saying that developers can get access to all the Gemini APIs 13th of this month. So I'm really excited to check those APIs out. And if you're interested, follow this channel. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to go to sleep now. And if a new AI news comes up in the next 24 hours, please do not expect another video from me. I'm tired. Goodbye.